Microphone check. One, two, one, two. Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Raynell Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fix Your Trips. We back to another vlog, y'all. Check it. First of all, I know what y'all saying, Raynell. Why are you starting an episode inside of your truck? Okay, first of all, this is my damn channel, okay? I can start the episode however I want to start the episode. I'm a grown man. Second of all, I got a long trip, and I didn't feel like driving along, so I'm going to just, you know, roll with y'all along the way. Now, some of y'all going to be like, I don't want to see you talk. I don't want to see you fishing. Where the fish is at? Look, if y'all want to see the fishing part of this video, I'm a little choked up. Then you can skip ahead and watch that. Now, I'm not going to leave any chapters so you can easily find where the fishing starts. No. You're going to have to work for it. Sorry for yelling. So, y'all, check this out, man. Like I said, I got you on a new GoPro mount in my truck because, you know, holding the camera while you're driving is unsafe. So, check it out. Let me tell y'all how I'm currently driving to Galveston at 10 a.m., okay? I should have been fishing four hours ago. So, I hit up NBLR Fishing, right? Hit up Mark last night. I'm like, yo, it's going to be a cold front. 50 degrees. Flounder are going to be popping. Let's do it. Mark was like, bet. Okay, bet. Yo, I'm getting all my gear, you know, ready for the day before. I'm all excited. Um, I'm all happy, right? Y'all, check this out. Ask me why I go to my truck to move it around to the garage. And I just hear it click, 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 click. I'm like, oh, ain't no damn way. So why is it the day that I'm finally off from school and work, my truck battery decides not to work? I'll tell you why. Because my truck battery is black. Black people don't like the cold. Black batteries do not work in the cold. So you know what? I got a 2009 Dodge Ram. I look up on AutoZone, and this battery is like $200, right? AutoZone is closed, of course. It doesn't open till 7:30. So I get my girl. We take, you know, she's taking the AutoZone. I'm upset because I'm about to drop $200 for a damn battery, and I'm like, yo, I'm pretty sure this battery is still under warranty. I'm not sure at all. I'm just praying, right? First of all, before he do that, he checks my battery and he puts a little, you know, clips on it. And it's like, yes, tested bad battery. I'm like, yeah, I know my battery's bad. Because why do you think I'm walking in here with a battery in my hand? Did you see me drive up here, AutoZone? Hmm? Hmm? You see my truck? I know my battery's bad. I just need to know, am I about to drop $200 for another battery? He looks up my information. He's looking, he's looking. He's like... I need a manager up front. I'm like, oh, damn. Here we go. I'm about to have a Karen moment. I'm about to have a Karen moment right here, right? Because I'm about to show my butt. Because I know I bought that battery in the last two or three years. I'm not tripping, right? I'm like, here we go. Here we go. I'm like, all right. So I'm getting my inner Karen ready, right? And I'm like, all right, bet, bet. Where are you, manager? Where are you, manager? Okay, I'm trying to get my voice ready for that interaction with the manager, right? All right, manager pulls up, he looks, puts his coat in, walks away. I'm like, what the hell's going on? AutoZone dude, he was like, can you sign that? I'm like, I don't know what's going on? Walks to the back, comes back, brings me back a new battery. I'm like, how much? He's like, it's under warranty. It's free. Good God. Look at God, y'all. Thank you, Chief. So I go back to the house, put the battery into the truck. Boom, cranks right up. And I'm like, you know, it's already nine something o'clock. I already probably missed the bite. But I'm like, you know what? Mm -mm. The devil's a lie. I didn't come all this way and go through all this adversity to not go fishing today. So here I am. Here I am. So yeah, man, we out in these streets, Houston streets. I got about an hour. 15 hour and a half to get to Galveston and we're going to try to get up on these flounder for sure going to try to get up on these flounder because adversity is not going to stop me man you will have roadblocks in life but you got to be able to go over those roadblocks even with a dead battery and persevere oh by the way the battery I got from AutoZone to replace my old one is a white battery so I know it can work in the code 
Let's hit the road, y'all. Let us go. Let go! First pit stop, man. I'm at Bayou Bait and Tackle. It's right off of 45, adjacent to Home Depot over here. I need to, hold on, give me some light, man. You can't see me in the darkness. Yeah, I gotta pick up some quart of live shrimp and some liters. Yeah, let's go. All right, I got my shrimp. Man, I almost thought I was about to lose my life in there. Apparently, Bayou Bait and Tackle has a neighborhood um, German Shepherd that ran up on me. Well, it didn't ran up on it walked up on me, but I'm black. You can't have random dogs run up on black people, man. I should have been recording, but check it out, man. We got some good shrimp. Look at that. Y'all see that? Yes. Those are some nice shrimp, baby. Yes. So, um, I need to still get like a cooler. Cause I'm keeping, man. I'm keeping, man. I came all this way. I'm keeping me some flounder today. So we need to find a cooler or academy. I don't know. Come on, let's go. All right, that is the new cooler. New cooler. Paid about forty nine ninety nine. <sighs> man, I can't. I could not find a styrofoam cooler to save my life. But you know, what? I'm gonna stop being cheap. Get a real cooler. Cause I'm keeping fish, man. No mercy. I'll be spending all my money coming from Houston. To Galveston, it's like fifty dollars in gas. I'm keeping every fish. I'm keeping every fish. I don't care. I don't care if it's not a limit. I'm keeping six inch reds, eight inch flounder. Game warden got to find me. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, uh, I lied. I lied. I'm keeping all legal fish. I, I, I don't believe in. Um, you know, harvesting fish that's not legal. I, I take that all back. I am not gangster. All right, let me, let me, let me tally up so far how much money I've been spent since leaving Houston, okay? Spent about $50, 50 on gas, okay? Get to the bait shop. Spent another 50 on bait, tackle, and gear. Go to Academy. Spent 100 That's $200. So this spent $15 to get into Seawood Park to Fishing Park. I'm about $225 in a hole. Y'all, I can go down my street by my house two minutes away and get the bomb, bombest fish sandwich you ever had for $9.99. Anyway, man, let's do it. There is a ton of people here as expected. It's 12 o'clock noon. I should have been here six hours ago. So if you've never been at Seawood Park when flounder season is around, let me tell you what it's like. I don't know if you ever been to the hood, AKA the ghetto. Imagine that, but instead of dudes, you know, with knives and guns, there's a bunch of fishermen out here. Well, I'm pretty sure some of them have guns. When I sure, when I say sure, I mean, you know, me, me, I, I, have, I might have a gun on me, but don't tell nobody, okay? I got a lot of care, I gotta protect myself, man. I'm good, I don't trust nobody. So what I'm saying is, is that I think we're gonna witness a lot today. I don't know if I'm gonna catch any flounder because I'm pretty sure all the flounder are gone because there's 1,000 fishermen out there right now. So if I'm not gonna catch any fish, I at least wanna catch a fight on film, all right? I need to see somebody get boxed. I need to see somebody get laid out, okay? 
I don't personally believe in violence, but after spending $225, I need a video to get some views, so I wanna see a fight. And I'm gonna be all up in the mix. Woo! He got another, ow! Let's get my gear. Let's get my gear, man. It's a lot of people over there. Damn it, Rennell. See, y'all, I be trying to like, I need to do bank fishing videos, right? Y'all like bank fishing videos, you know what I'm saying? Every time I do a bank fishing video, no matter where I go, it gets three times the amount of views as my normal kayak fishing videos, okay? But every time I go bank fishing, I'm reminded how much I hate it. So many people, man. I love the people though, man. I'm pretty sure I'm, a, I'm gonna run into at least one subscriber, at least one, you know? You know, I know I only, you know, upload like once a month, but y'all still know I'm out here in these streets. Y'all know who I am. So I'm gonna do this for y'all, man. I'm doing this for y'all. I'm doing this bank fishing video for y'all. I hate being surrounded by a lot of people. And this is the epitome of a lot of people, which you're about to see right now. Somebody gotta fight. Somebody gotta fight or somebody gotta get shot. Let's go. This day is cursed, bruh. I just spent $50 on this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I think God was telling me I, I should have just stayed home. That's what he was telling me, man. I swear to God, if I don't, if I'm not able to fix this cooler that I, I just spent $50 for after driving 130 miles and $200, I'm going home. I'm going home. Hold on. I'll be back. All right, man. I do got my fancy um, you know, Shimano, blah, blah, blah. I'm going back to my old school pin. My old school pin that I got at Academy with a seven foot rod. I'm getting grimy out there, it's gonna be ghetto out there. Can't be bringing all my good stuff and getting jacked. This is more heavier. I can't go out there with no ultra light rod. This right here, if you put enough force on somebody simple, it's taking them down. the same, peep the same. All right, y'all. This is the current situation. I'm gonna have to claim a rock. Get in where we fit in. Let's try it again. There we go. We got it. Oh. Okay. Hey. Got me. Got me. Cannot be scared to set the hook. Don't be scared to set the hook right now. Don't be scared to set the hook. Okay, that might be crap. There we go. Here we go. And this is not a keeper. Potato chip. Not a keeper. He is rowdy. Chill out, chill out. There we go. <laughs> My man is amped. Alright, it's about 10 inches, 12 inches, not a keeper. Let's put it back. Gotta watch out. I keep getting stuck right here. So I gotta start picking up a point of no return to get my lure out the water. I keep getting stuck. There we go. There we go. Get on the rocks. Get on the rocks. There we go. Eh, it's not a keeper. It's not a keeper. Too small. Boys on over there. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Might be a keeper. 
might be a keeper. And I'm gonna, yeah, it's, it's gonna be close. I'll be close. Eh, probably like 13 inches. We'll see. Right, this one's about 13 inches. A couple more inches to grow. There we go. Mm. Alright, got another one. Table chip. Mm -hmm. Alright. Little cool baby one. There we go. We on. We on. We on. There we go. Might be a keeper, y'all. Get in a boat. Get in a boat. There we go. Looks like it. Alright. We on, y'all. Right now. Okay, what's up, man? Yeah, what's your name? I'm, I'm, I'm watching some of your videos. Oh, yeah, fishing trips? What's your name? Yeah. Jonathan. Jonathan, nice to meet you, bro. Sure, nice to meet you. All right, so the one down, four more to go, 16 inches. Fix my hook after this. <laughs> Keep hitting the rock over here. So we need to avoid that at all costs. Dinner. <laughs> all right. Yeah. That's what I'm about. Got another one, y'all. Slab. Yeah, she's about 18 inches. 18 inches is good. Once again, let's put her on the boat. And that was it. <sighs> Alright y'all, so I just lost my last shrimp. Uh, and it's about 2 o'clock, man. I think I'm going to call it a day. Take this as a W. And head back to Houston. If you like the video, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe and all that other cool stuff. I'll try to post another video sometime before the following season ends on November 1st. Peace. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay.